Guys, what the fuck is up? So basically, uh, uh, we're posting every day. It doesn't matter the content. We're doing react videos now. We're doing fucking goddamn gaming videos, vlogs, everything. We need this fucking monetization. I need it bad. I'm in the hole heavy for fucking YouTube. It'll work out eventually, I have a feeling, but... So they were going to be re reacting to the Rat King himself, Theo Vaughn. Funny moment. So uh, this is one of the greatest comedians. I mean, heavy on the autism jokes, but... Nevertheless, still a great one. You know what I mean? So, I mean, let, let's just let's just fucking hop into this three little slot. It's know? the amazing American comedian Theo Vaughn. Welcome Bro, to Trigonometry. You guys have, we call it autism. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, off rip! That's not scripted! Off rip! Off rip! He says, oh, no shot! No shot! Dude, I didn't even, I did not even know that. It's the amazing American comedian Theo Vaughn. <laughs> Welcome Bro, to Trigonometry. You guys have. We call it autism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it, bro, but we got it over here. Everybody's got it. They had a comedy room near me. This gentleman had half a limb. And Wh he which, was... Uh, which limb? He was missing part of his leg, I mm -hmm. think. Or he said he was. So he could have been faking it. Mm -hmm. CG. Yeah, or something? Mm, I don't know what his name was. <laughs> Dude, no, he yeah, he, 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 he has to be capping. Like, I'm, they're doing that. I know. I, I, I am going to go. Yeah. I'd like to go. It's on my bucket list. I don't want to die on this planet, dude. Really? I don't want to, like, for real, for real. I don't want to die on this planet. Damn, that is a very rich thing to say, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, but those two put in a room, Logan Paul's a retard. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, not retarded, but he, he's like, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just getting caught up in saying the R word. I don't give a fuck. Dude, I'm in sped classes. It's like the N-word pass, basically. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I don't want to die with these poor peasants. <laughs> the rest of us are trying to find quarters <laughs> in our car to get that air machine to fucking fill up our tire at the gas station. And this guy's like, I'm not done with will... this planet. Yeah. It's Theo Vaughn. We're going into the Matrix. I'm going to get my stuff first. <laughs> <laughs> what would you bring if I said, hey, dude, you can go in the Matrix, but uh, you can bring three things? I'd have to bring a picture of my family, and then I'd have to bring probably, I'd bring probably some water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would. You think you'd need water in the shit. Matrix? I'm not going to be the guy without it in there. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, they had a boy in our neighborhood named Mario, right? And he, uh, and he was, dude, he ended up dying, actually. He did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would shit in his yard and make me bury it. And that's how... <laughs> That's how I was allowed to be friends with him. So, man, I think about that kind of stuff. Like, if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Because um, that's easy. It's a starter move. If you attack somebody <laughs> bigger, if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's going to alarm people. But you... You got to eat a small person, so stature is important. I think if you gum down a Viet, people aren't going to be that upset at you. Well, the, the you know? Vietnamese people are going to be super upset. What are you talking about? No, Somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifice. They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this a character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black, dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're going to be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person would... Bro, that's... That's the most out of pocket shit. Anyone else says this crappy, they get canceled. I hope the clip's in here. He literally says the N word. Dude, I'm gonna find it. He literally just says the N word on, like, just on the fucking, on what podcast? I think it was his own, and he kept it in there. Like, he just kept it in, I'm pretty sure. Where is it at? Where, where is it? There I go. There. I think it's like a business interview type of thing. As I'm going over there, I look at the Barstool Snapchat and I see Caleb interviewing people. So I'm saying, oh fuck, this is kind of like a content thing and I'm shitting bricks because... Now you're going to be on camera. Now I'm going to be on camera. I was a fan of Caleb, a fan of everybody. I was a big Barstool fan. And you're, and you're nervous. Your mother knows you're nervous. Terrifyingly nervous. I get off the elevator everybody's sitting right there extremely scary i go walk by the bar 
They say, stand there for a second, go talk to Caleb. I'm a Caleb Presley fan at the time, still am. And um, he asked me, he just sits me down and asks me, are you fast? And I said, you know what? For my size, I am pretty fast. When I play softball, I get down the line pretty quick. People will be shocked. I've beaten out a ground ball or two in my day. He says, prove it. Let's go downstairs to the street, to a 28th. We walk to the corner, run down the street. Caleb says, you know what? You are fast. You're hired. We go up, talk to Dave. As I'm walking out, Gaz, our, our head of social says, what's your, uh, you have any nicknames? The only yeah. really nickname they call me is Clunny uh, Balls. Clunny <laughs> Balls, get out of here. Get out of here, Clunny <laughs> Balls. I think it's like a business interview. Dude, where's it at? Oh. My shock, yeah, it was horrible at math. So when I transferred, I even had to do a whole remedial math class a whole for a whole semester. I didn't even get credit for the class. And then to even get a major, I had to do like two more math courses. Mm, math. Yeah. yeah, so math really got me. Oh, math will trip up any real <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> See, I, I was... But yeah, math. Uh, I wasn't high. Like, like he kept that in. He could have taken it out. Like, it was not a live show, I don't believe so. What? Dude, he's just a different fucking animal. Will let you slide? That's... I think that they'd be much more forgiving over a couple of day period. Mm, I think, uh... Like well, their relatives. You don't think so? Honestly. Well, Dude, one thing, no, I don't think so. I definitely think they'd be super pissed at you, especially modernized ones. But what is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A, man, honestly. It's pretty fucking cool. Pulled into the driveway and an owl took off. It was big, too. It's gross, I think. Owls? The meat, the f uh, oh, you ate them. You saying? Yeah, but the you guys ate owls. Yeah, I don't I, think that's legal. You probably shouldn't say that on the podcast. Well, <laughs> I didn't have a lot. I know you've been out there with Mr. Joe petting them fucking white animals. What? What the? What, baby? What? I know you've been out there with Papa Joe. Petting them little fucking honky muppets. <laughs> Shonda, you crazy, baby. Look. Um. When I was growing up, this dude, we stayed at his house one time. This guy, Curtis, and he knows it. He has a big dick. I could tell by his name. He actually, bro, he has a big dick and a gay brother, dude. Damn. If you got a gay <laughs> brother, a you double, have a big dick. For a thousand percent. You know, guy. Or if you're know. a cop. Cops got packed. The cops are packing dick. Really? Usually. I mean, the highway patrol generally has been. I don't know who the hell that is. He is tripping up over saying this fucking sentence. Holy fuck. I gotta look that up. Right. Oh my god. Um, so Curtis, yeah, he had a bunch of animals at his house. Okay. We ate a bunch of shrooms out there and kind of commandeered this water table. There was a water table that had kind of been left un uh, unattended. What is a water table? Just a table with a bunch of oh, cups of water. Oh, table with waters on it. Okay. So we got over there and people were running, you know, they're going and we started telling people that the water was for Asian people only, right? <laughs> oh, we are crying laughing because people are running. They can't stop. They're trying to make a time. So for some people we'd be like, bro, it's Asians only. And it was like, why? Are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> and then Asian people were all excited, you know, and we kept bouncing them up. <laughs> Dude, we were fucking. Uh -oh. I would take pictures with like uh, people, and I'd have my fucking nuts hanging out the whole time. The, what? It, yeah, bro, we were you out. Took pictures of people with <laughs> your nuts out. How old were you at the time? I don't know, man. Probably twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, that's a case. Fucking Ben Brown. Oh. People were like, hey, let's get a picture together so we get oh it. And I just God. slip that bag out there. Maybe that fucking gum holster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I was born, some of the doctors said I had the rib cage of a large cat. And some of the doctors said I had the heart of a lesbian. Theo, come to the chalkboard. Yeah. Come to the chalkboard. <laughs> Imagine your doctor walks in there just like, you're fucked. You got the heart of a lesbian. Who the fuck would say that? What? What? Dude, or right now. Sense. Yeah, you're like, and I'll, you had a full erection. Did uh, you, did, what did you do about that? <laughs> joust. I would joust the other guy passing me in the aisle. <laughs> That's what I would do. Everybody was erect, man. It was just a the bunch whole of, classroom. <laughs> oh, it was a bunch of like those tarpons passing each other in the water. <laughs> I did a fast for like four days, and then I was at the Best Buy, and um, and I remember this Vietnamese guy was trying to help me out, and I couldn't even hear him. I was so hungry, <laughs> and I, I couldn't. I probably lost about four pounds, but pounds I needed too. You wow. know, but I got clear, man. I could and I could hear 
Swear to God, y'all could hear somebody fold a piece of bread from 80 feet away, bro. I was so hungry, dude. I could hear a fucking skittle hit the cement. <laughs> Imagine if you didn't have to sleep. There's no way if I had eight more hours, I wouldn't cheat on my wife. I don't have a wife, but if you gave me eight more hours in a day, dude. <laughs> that would be it. It would be fucking... But it's what, so hard for a guy to get through 16 without fucking, <laughs> like, doing an eight ball or fucking running around on his legs. Shooting at cops. You give him eight more hours? Eight more hours, you got to get in the shootout. <laughs> Bro, half the dudes are going to... You see, he's fucking fucking... Th How much fucking shrooms and shit... Is in that room right now. Out of all the things North the Korea. How do we get Shim Shin Lim or that's a magician? Bro. It is. Yeah, yeah. Shin Lim. What's the guy's name? Young Jock. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me the dictator's name in North Korea. Uh, no, no, just look at me. Don't Google it. Go okay. ahead. Okay. You know what, dude? Little John. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, Young yeah. John. No, no, no. His. Could I give you the first name? Yeah. Kim. Oh, Kim Young John. <laughs> Kim Young John. Kim Jong Young. Kim Jong Un. Young Young. Young Young. <laughs> You're acting like those fucking. It has a yawn in it. it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, I, I know it has a yawn in it. Because every time I hear it, I get tired <laughs> kim jong yan yeah yeah what is it we're gonna get fucking nukes just because fucking theo Biden called him fucking kim jong un <laughs> kim jong un what's your type i like probably volleyball chick a strong girl athletic maybe has an has a family member that can't speak english that good foreigners foreigner or even mentally happy fucking unwell. to be here oh <laughs> mentally unwell <laughs> God damn, I date the mentally unwell. It seems like, holy fuck. You like that? I know, if there's somebody their family is. Okay. Because they're loving people. Because you oh, can't be. Oh, right, because you're compassionate. Dude, when I was growing up, we couldn't even get yeah, poor. We had to like get that. this dude, Nick, on Friday, would draw us a picture of some pussy. Four dollars to this dude, Nick. Four dollars for drawings? Bro, you'd pay eight. <laughs> and he had a nice fucking thing, bro. And you would fold that Ooh. thing up, bro. You could feel it heating in your butt pocket the whole way on the bus. Sometimes you'd even was fucking... Was that good? The pictures are that oh, good? he was so you good. You jerk off this guy's drawings? Oh, everybody would. He must have made probably $60 on a Friday. <laughs> and this was in 1995. I'm drinking like 95? Monster Energy drinks sometimes, which are... Bro, 95, the internet was like... Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't alive then, but I'm... Pretty damn sure the internet was around enough, or just like print pictures, or like Playboy, or like anything, like anything. That's... Like piss magnet. Imagine jerking off to just like a drawing of. How are you not thinking of the guy when you're doing it? Like. It's They're delicious, but they I make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your wife, too, dude. I've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking Monster <laughs> that you know they're going home to punch. <laughs> The drone age has begun in the large-scale military ads. online action. They, they already they don't even put ads on my videos. Videos. All right, that was a video for today. I'm just gonna do one every day. I'm doing a vlog every week, no matter what, though. I just need to get this watch time up.